Being a quick work tonight, pretty easy decisions for you? Yeah, yeah this was, this was uh, a little, uh, rocket science tonight. All right, let's start with Oki. Uh, he, he was a two to one underdog. He beat a Muay Thai world champion, kickboxing world champion, uh, and he did it striking. 27 years old, he's in his prime, he's eight and one, went out and looked at, you couldn't have done any better, kid. You couldn't have done any better than you did. Congratulations, you're in the UFC. Balaji Oki, congratulations. Oh. All right, Thomas Peterson. His name is Peterson, not Jefferson. His name is not Thomas Jefferson. I fixed it for you, buddy. There you go. Total domination. Obviously, with seven KOs and nine fights, you got great power. Um, but tonight, you showed you can grapple. You got great ground and pound. 28 years old, you're in your prime. Get over here. Congratulations, Thomas Peterson. All right, Timmy. Timmy's fast, he's well-rounded. 24 years old, he's seven and one, has a ton of potential. But I think you got nothing but time, kid. You got nothing but time. You're only 24 years old. I think you need some more experience. I know you got a lot of people in the house tonight, and that's going to be a very unpopular decision by me. But I think you'll be here someday, just not today. All right. Tulio, 10 and 1, Brazilian. I need new Brazilian stars. And, uh, you know, we got a fight coming up in Sao Paulo. I just didn't see it tonight. Obviously, the guy's tough, he can fight, and uh, he just did make me say, I have to sign this kid tonight and I have to have him in the UFC. Now, saying two seconds ago that I need Brazilians, smooth, calm, violent, absolutely nasty combos. In the first round, he landed 70% of his strikes. The UFC average is 44%. He came out in the second round and looked even better, finished the fight. This kid, he's, he's, he's 17 and six now. He's a kid, he's 30 years old. We could throw him right in the mix. He could fight anybody. The way he looked tonight, he looked like a prime, young, vintage Anderson Silva to me. And uh, this dude is absolutely in the UFC. He didn't even get, you just got to your seat. Get back up and walk all the way over here again. Carlos Pratis, congratulations. Dana, I'm, I'm curious because last week, obviously, we had Josephine Knutson who did not receive a contract on the night, but she's found herself in the UFC in short order. What, what is your message to the guys not walking out of here with contracts tonight in terms of what they need to do to either find themselves back here or in the big show? Well, the two kids that didn't make it tonight, I just said, you know, obviously they won. They're both good. They're both talented. One, I think, is too young and needs a little bit more experience. And the other one has the experience, just didn't. When you come in here on a Tuesday night, you have to make me say, I have to have this guy or girl in the UFC. You can be as talented as they come. This is your one shot, your one night. This sheet is all I know about you. I don't read any of this before. I walk in when the fights happen, I see it. You show me tonight who you are. None of this means to me. This means nothing to me. It's great, you're obviously here. You got great records, you've done great things. Show me tonight. On Tuesdays, it's your night to show me who you are and what you got. Make me say yes. Thank you so much, Dana. Appreciate your time. So, Balaji, you set the bar tonight early, right out the gate. What does it feel like to hear Balaji Oki, UFC lightweight? It's wonderful. It's like a, a dream coming true. And uh, for me, it's, uh, it's a life changing. And uh, here I am. Let's go. Let's go. You've been so passionate about representing Zimbabwe, Nigeria, and Belgium. What will it mean to you to do that in the UFC? And how soon will you be able to do that? As soon as possible, I'm ready. You know, the first round for me it was super quick. So I'm ready to go again and represent my, my country, Belgium, Nigeria, and Zimbabwe. So let's go, I'm ready. Zulu Warrior in the UFC, congratulations. I cannot wait to see you fight inside the UFC Octagon. Appreciate it. Go enjoy that contract. <laughs> Get over here, Peterson. Where are you? <laughs> Congratulations. Well done. What did it feel like to hear Dana sit there and, and just glow uh, about your skill set and what he saw tonight? Well, I, I liked how he corrected my name. There's Thomas Peterson, but, uh, <laughs> but it felt good, man. A lot of hard work paid off, and I know my wife at home uh, 
you know, the same thing. I bet you she loves it too. And you know, we're we're going, baby. You know, it's, it's, we got a lot. Of, we got a lot to work on. I'm excited, and I'm just ready to keep climbing. You got the family back home. Their reaction was absolutely yeah. priceless. Yeah. <laughs> and your dad here with you. I saw you sharing a moment in the back. What what does this moment mean, not just to you, but to your dad, to your wife, to your kids? <laughs> uh, we just. Uh, we work really hard, man. Our family works really hard. And uh, <laughs> we're just hardworking people. And, uh, you know, nothing's given to us. And we just, we go and earn it, man. It just feels good to be paid off. And you don't pay it in full. And, and you don't get the contract. I mean, just, <laughs> you know, I'm just, I'm just excited for my kids to see this, you know, and see what, see what they can do. You earned it, man. You earned that UFC contract. <laughs> Welcome to the big show. Carlos Pratas, the UFC's newest welterweight. What's it feel like to hear that? Uh, better impossible. Uh, I was dreaming about that moment like too much, you know? That moment happened in my mind many, many, many times today, yesterday, last week, last month, last two months. So today I'm here and I did what I did. Has it set in yet? Because I feel like a lot of times when you think about something, you manifest something, you envision it over and over, and then when it actually happens, it's hard to wrap your mind around. Yeah, it's... Uh, sometimes I, before the fight, I was nothing like he, believing I'm gonna fight here. I was, I was, I was going to fight here today. You know, it was like he, after fight when I saw everybody screaming and everybody happy, and then I was like, ah, I fought today here. Then I contender series, and for sure he's gonna give me a contract. What do you think you bring to this UFC welterweight division? Uh, I tell Dana after my fight, I, I'm here to be the new welterweight star. You know, I can talk, I can win, I can knock people out, and guess what? I'm gonna do everything. I'm gonna do everything, everything. What I'm talking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the new welterweight star. And do it in flawless English as well. Congratulations! Welcome to the UFC.